feet, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Messy Monday, okay? Asian chewed up two two zero. <laughs> let's get it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. Yes, and I appreciate you for that. Okay, I appreciate you for that. It's either gonna be subs on um Twitch or Patreon. I'm cool. <laughs> For me, come on, girls, let's get it. Oh, oh, shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey, what's up, Stone? Welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Y'all, the first week of October is already on. Slow down, sir. But the good news is, you made it. We have two more months into 2025. Do you Crazy. know how many months we done been through? How many days? How many seconds? How many hours we've been through? And you're still here today? Baby, that is a blessing. Take time to just hug yourself because you made it and you didn't give up when you could have. That's what I've been doing, taking care of uh, my damn self around this motherfucker. All right? So I love you so much. Now, let me go on and give a shout out to my friend, and that is Jordan Kendall. Hey, bitch. Jordan Kendall, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. For wanting to know what I have to say throughout the day on my Twitter, it means so much to me. You could be anywhere else watching anything else, but Monday, you're right here supporting me. And I love that so, 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 so much. So everybody, if you could, go over to Jordan's Twitter. Okay. Like something, repost We went it. over his dread journey again, because he already had dread. And dread. also, follow each other if you want to, because you never know. This could be your friend across town that you did not even know you needed. Okay? But you're right. We did so it again. Jordan, thank you so much, friend. Hey, bitch. All right. Let's go on and get into y'all favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Doug. Now, Doug decided that he wanted to speak about the backlash that he gets on the internet. Now, he could have said anything, Just but anything. he decided he wanted to say this. How do you feel about like the newfound hate that you get. Bro, you know what's so crazy with the hate, bro? And it hurts my heart. It's just dark skinned women, bro. Really? I swear to God. This no. nigga DDG hey, said, but, really? Sloppy Just dark skin. Go fucking lay. You dark, big, sloppy hippopotamus built black, fat, funky, dirty lip, big, swollen, breast fuchsia, nutty professor looking ass. Maybe I. <clears throat> the other day, Dub was like, they don't ever comment on me. They don't ever comment on how good I look. And I was like, Dub. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Y'all better. <clears throat> Sharky. Appreciate the resub, bye. With the big stuff, I didn't mean it. <laughs> he just pissed me off. I'm just talking about him. All my life. I ain't uh, tell you something about dark skin, dark skin women before you, you know, continue. Mm -hmm. Darker the berry, sweeter the Come juice, on, man. man. It's not that. But thank you. I don't care if you are light, if you're dark, if you're brown skin, whatever. Black women in general already get beat down. Talk about their hair, their looks, the way they act, talk. <laughs> so why you want to continue to so say that? So shut up. Let me just, I'm going to slow it down and we're going to get there. Keep going. A white woman, it's always a dark-skinned woman hating on me, like trying to cancel my shit. I'm like, damn, we the same I people. wouldn't say, look, I would say... Cause you know I I get a lot of hate too. I wouldn't say just dark skinned women. Though. I would just say black women in general That's don't like I mean. me. Black, but it's just like you know as of the our race, black people. I just feel like DDG's IQ is too high for him to not understand that black women watch y'all. 
Look at your demographic. <laughs> Guarantee you white is at a low percentage, maybe 0.5. 5%. Baby, they not watching. People, we always been hating on each other, bro. Like, niggas kill niggas. I hated the girls way he said like black girls, via. You know what I'm saying? It's like, the, hated it's it. been like that. I feel like at this or, point, or it's dark. kind of I see what Diddy G tried to do. He tried to fix it because his brother put his foot in his mouth when he should have shut up a long time ago. But it is what it is. Diddy G was absolutely right. Why couldn't you just say women in general? Why did you have to even say black? It could have just been women in general hate on you. Now, do you honestly think you look good? I mean, ask in general hate on you now do you honestly think you look good i mean everybody looks good to somebody but baby it's really hard for you <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yo somebody take his mic <laughs> but for real Like, I wonder do he put his shit on and be like, nigga, I'm fine today. And somebody just said, DDG is the better looking brother, so dubbed ugly. I don't care whose brother he is. Okay? Dub, no. Nah. Dub, no. If I'm ugly, I'm ugly, baby. That's just it. Girl. Okay, let's just keep it real here. You didn't hear it. Absolutely right. Why couldn't you just say women in general? Why did you have to even say black? It could have just been women in general hate on you. Now, do you honestly think you look good? I mean, <laughs> everybody looks good to somebody, but baby, it's really hard for you. Okay, let's just keep <laughs> it real here. Girls, what do you say? Yo, in the comments? They have that shit was hilarious. Do you hear me? Remember, what is your audience? Your audience is majority black people. Hello. Like, what are we talking about? Oh, There's I, only black women that be saying something about me. Oh. <laughs> hello. That's the majority of your, your, hello. <laughs> I don't know if them white women are even watching you, Mr. Dove. They're Dove. not. I have to understand also, too, when you do women wrong, Women are going to stick together in that sense. You made it to now where these women are going to come at you in the comments because of what you have put out there. Dove, look what you did. People see me with a girl, they be like, this is only with him because his money. Oh that my God. Blows. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Listen, 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 listen. No, listen, listen, listen. That blows I be wanting, I be wanting to punch up in the comments because y'all don't, don't understand that nigga, like on the internet, it might, I don't know what it looked like, but having real motion sir for you to not think that some of these women are not only for you for your money is insane to me uh, because <clears throat> dub the type that gotta walk up with money anybody in here want to fuck with me raise your hand oh ain't nobody gonna say nothing I got a million dollars in my bank account right now. Who want to fuck with me? Then a couple bitches go stand up. What up, Sharky? Appreciate the uh, gift sub, June. When I tell you, oh, you got money. Oh, that's what you should have led with. Daddy, you know what I'm saying? But him coming up just like, yo, who want to fuck with me tonight? <laughs> Not too many going to stand up. Again, let's just look. And then look how you did your own baby mother. Do you think any woman is going to really think that that, well, some women do think that they could change a man, <laughs> but let's be real. And then all you do is brag about your designers. You brag about how much money you got, what you got this, and how you do that. If I was born a woman, I'm going to be like, oh, that's an easy lick. I'm coming, sir. Open the door. What do you what mean? Dark, black, white, or what I'm in love with you. to do with any of this? Nigga, you left your baby mama who was down with you from the start. That ain't no color. That's just women calling you out on your bullshit. That's what it is. Let's call a spade a spade. Well, y'all, if he want to leave her, he can leave her. Oh, damn. And now you just mad and want to pick at the black women. Black it's girl. given she didn't want him. I ain't gonna lie, she kind of be over there like, 
I don't want to talk about my past. <laughs> if you want to say anything about who, she went so deep as to saying, I don't regret my child. However, if I could go back, I wouldn't have had one, which was kind of saying the same thing. But what she's saying is she wouldn't have had one with his motherfucking ass. I lost that day. Not with him. No. Not with him. Everybody else do. Your mama need to come on there and slap you across your goddamn face and tell you to shut the fuck up and stay in your place. Dark skinned women is talking bad about you, but look what you did to the dark skinned woman. I wouldn't like your puss ass feet. And it's so <laughs> funny. He says this now after he got his first light skinned girl and then he feeling his motherfucking dick. Boy, if you don't sit your sorry ass the fuck down and shut up talking to us. And this <laughs> here black man, it's kind of funny when y'all start to get a little bit more money. That's when you start going for what you desire because now you can pay for it. And, oh, and let me say, <clears throat> uh, uh, she came to him, guarantee. What we mean when we say you could pay for it. Hey, I don't know who need to hear this, but go buy that girl a bag. Go buy her the latest iPhone. Go do something nice. Pay her rent. Pay her mama rent. But the women ain't with him for his fucking money. Boy, get out our goddamn face. <clears throat> and then the nerve to say, like, I be getting mad as hell when they be saying. Anyway, and then he comes back and he tries to clear the air on what he said. For all the women that I offended, I did not mean it like that. Um, all I Effin. meant is when I go, I don't even have a lot of women in my audience and when i do it's never nothing good it's never oh you look good or oh i like this <clears throat> i just think oh you look good is great like i would own up to my ugly at that point if i was dubbed you know like rappers have said it gucci say he ugly money bag yo say he ugly which i completely disagree but Gucci, nah, old oh, Gucci. Woo. Uh, but a lot of rappers, if they ugly, they gonna say that. Yo, we got to live in that ugly. A lot of people think I'm ugly. That's a lie, not a lot of people. But some people think I'm ugly. I'm still gonna live in my fine, but you know, to the percentage that think I'm ugly, that's fine. They think I'm living in my ugly at least. I would live in my ugly. I know I'm ugly as hell, but I'm rich though. You can call me ugly, but you can't call me bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, you're a great dad. It's just always a negative. Biggie thing. said he was that's ugly. That's what I hate because I love my black women. Never dated out my race. I never will. When the women come in there and hate on you, sir, what are the times when they come in? Was it when you disrespected your baby mama? When you did the things wrong to her? Is that when they came? Because guess what? They were probably supporters of her and her dark-skinned women probably supported her as dark-skinned women. Please. And when you did that dark-skinned woman wrong, that is why they came. They're not hating on you. They're just saying something to you. To me, it seems like something hurts you and so now you want to hurt something else if it ain't about me let's kiki next case next with sugar honey iced tea we have g now i don't know what is going on with these brothers but honey they just don't know when to just be quiet a nine to five should only be used to fund your own business like i don't think nobody you. should ever <clears throat> get a job i don't know what was so wrong with this up and say I'm going to be the 10 year best employee of the year like nobody should ever think that because if you ever late too many times they're going to get rid of you they don't care what you got going on in your family they don't care about nothing if I'm the business and you always late and you doing this I'm firing you it's plain and simple I don't, yeah. give, I don't give a damn what you got going on because I know I got a thousand applications and they gonna grind hard because they need this money to to fund their business or just to work here forever. So I tell people all the time, I'm like, bro, you can't be stuck in no nine to five. It's nothing wrong with a nine to five, but it's like, it's what you're doing with the nine to five. You shouldn't be working a nine to five to take care of your life for the rest. What was so wrong about that? Your life. Now I understand what DG was trying to say, and that's why people have publicists. So therefore, when you're trying to say something, you say it correctly, because then people will take it how they perceive it, and it is what it is. Everything's not for everybody. Everybody doesn't want to be an owner of a building. So some people are content 
with being a worker. And that doesn't make them less than. And this is not... <clears throat> I agree. Any type of disrespect. Some people are leaders. Some people are followers. And some people are workers. Some people are just lazy. Because some people don't know how to lead. Some people just don't. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you weak. You just know, hey, I know how to work. But then some people are leaders. They know how to give direction. They know how to sit here and format this. And that's why you have managers and that's why you have employees. But that's also why you have owners. Everybody has to play their role. I too am guilty of trying to make everybody that was around me an entrepreneur. That's just not how that works. It's not realistic. You want people you know, what you think may be better for people, but that don't make it better for people. Some people like going to their job, going home, smoking a blunt, having a damn glass of wine and waking up doing it tomorrow. And that is okay. Period. That's why I'm at with it. That is fine. You say you need to do this. You need to do that. I need you here. This is how this machine's gonna work. And then you got some people like, hey, I can follow you. And I can be that support system <laughs> that you need. I ain't good at working. I ain't Sorry. <clears throat> One thing I'm going to do is fish it to y'all, you know, but I can't bring it to the wall. I mean, I can't make you drink the water. I can bring it to you, though. I try my best to bring it to y'all all the time. OK, so you can, you know, tap in to something else that you think you can't even do. Not even knowing you up. You great at it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, always catch that bait. Do that leading, but I can follow you and I can support you. Be the best. Cheerleader ever for your friend if you don't know how and that friend's gonna always come back and look out for you You know what I'm saying now I can be your little camera person I can be this because I was the biggest fucking cheerleader for your friend But I don't know I didn't know how to go and get it Everybody has their purpose in life, but whatever you do be the best at whatever you do Some people are fine with working that nine to five yep. and living the lifestyle they live and they're being okay. And if they decide to move up in the company. Nigga, when I first started being an entrepreneur and I'm over here wondering where my next check was going to come from while people was waiting on their check to come and they knew what they was getting. Oh my God. It's been times I couldn't get nothing to eat because I didn't have no money. But the person with the nine of I has some money. Okay. So it is uh gifts and, and a curse to <clears throat> just live in this world, girl. Shit. <laughs> then move up, become that assistant, then become that um shift supervisor, then become the manager. But do it at your own time. If that is what makes you happy in life, do that. Everybody's gonna have that strength to be an entrepreneur. Cause then when that falls and you put all your life into that, are you still strong enough to get- Now here's the next thing I'm gonna fish to Zari. Look into, um, not TikTok shop yet, but look into doing ads for people. Okay? You getting a certain amount of numbers of video, tell them that, you know what I'm saying, you working on doing that, having people um, pay for ads. Then you start promoting those ads and then you can start charging whatever you want. Sorry. Yeah. And bring your ass over to Instagram called a uh, um, theme page. That's what you got. Get back up and do it again. It's easy to say, hey, nine to five, say your money, do this. But if that drive comes with it, that consistency comes with it, that dedication comes with it, that, oh, I might fail and I gotta get up and try again comes with it, the mental comes with it. And a lot comes with that. And a bunch of people may, may become depressed trying to be that boss going for their dream. So it has to be what you want to do. It's not easy. And that's all I'm saying. I get what DDG is saying, but don't knock people who are okay with just saying, I'm fine with having a nine to five. I'm fine with becoming a manager at that nine to five job. I'm fine with that. If that's their life, that is their life. That's what worked for you. You knew that you wanted to be your own boss. You knew that you could do this. It has to be that person's dream, that person's passion. Everybody's goals in life are different. And no matter what path you walk in life, make sure you're doing it to the best of your ability. Thanks. And that's all that matters.
And if it ain't about me, let's keep eating this cake. Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have Tootsie Roll. So Tootsie Roll decided to go onto social media and do a rant. And this is what he had to say. When the fuck did being somebody girlfriend make you famous? When the fuck was that ever a celebrity? As if he wasn't talking to his baby mama and them. Like, niggas be trying to act like, I ain't talking about it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Girl. You could go on famous birthdays now and you won't fuck being celebrities and you don't even know what the fuck they do. They just somebody girlfriend or fucking baby mom. It is crazy. And why they don't does got that matter? They selling. They don't do nothing. They don't got nothing going on. They just famous because the world don't blow. Sorry. The next thing I'm gonna tell you to do is never say try again. What you're about to do is change your kid's life. That's it. Keep working. Uh, it is crazy. Like take try to vocabulary. Had to put in work to be a celebrity back in the days. The internet is blowing people up. I be with seven million followers. I don't know what she do. I be seeing, and, and, and it's really, it's, it's not even like the real, for real, because it's really, it's the, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the freaky out here that got all these girls blowing up. You feel me? You don't even know what the f they do. I, no, I ain't talking about nobody, baby mom in particular. Now, to the surprise, you don't want nobody to get mad and say you talking about And that's a lie. Viral. But it's kind of hard to think that when, I don't know if you remember, did you get mad because she was getting more likes and love on y'all page than you were getting? And then you got upset at the fan pages for posting her more than you and you were like, y'all are my fan pages? Like... Literally talking about your baby mama. And make it make sense. So this is why they were thinking you was talking about her. Because he was. And so then child Asian dog came out and this was what she had to say. You literally went and got your high school crush pregnant, which was a cute regular girl who did last year. You showed her off to your platform of millions of fans. Put her in a music video, brought her on stage while you performed to her. <laughs> one, one, one in the chat. Niggas is <coughs> weird. Watch you y'all day because niggas be mad about your come up but want you to be down for theirs. So child. I already knew Mr. Pop gonna get mad, honey. She, she came out and said this. Word of my son, like, this what I be talking about, about this celebrity. I never really cared to be famous. I ain't even gonna hold you. So that's a goddamn lie. You didn't never want to be famous. That's a goddamn lie. You knew you was doing music, so you knew you wanted to be famous. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> you didn't even want to be famous. You knew you wanted to be famous. So that's a goddamn lie. And then you got mad because people want playing your CDs and all that. Oh, this gonna be my last song. This gonna be my last song. Okay, he threatening every quarter. Uh, if y'all don't like this, I, I swear, if we don't jail 20K, I'm quitting this shit. To do what? <laughs> what are you about to do? <laughs> oh, that's going to be my last CD. You a goddamn lie. You about to go get a job? I mean, what's going on? Yeah, I've been there. Before I get this shit, yo, listen, let me tell you something. Asian Dow, you fucking bad body, electric toothbrush, botch body built. I don't even know how the fuck you speaking on my relationship. You can't even fucking keep a dick inside of you. You go from dick to fucking dick. Have you found it yet? Fuck, like, and I really a violate because I know some shit about you, but like, I'm just trying to figure out why you speaking on a real like shit like you. I think y'all be getting me misconstrued for one of these peons. I nobody's misconstruing that. <laughs> never been there. Like stop fucking playing with me, you nasty. Fuck is you talking about? You really built like an infected tooth. Nah, don't delete your tweets. I I got a few questions for you because I done, I just seen you. First off, one I seen you bring up the gay shit. We already know that's what. It Throw at a black man every time she get mad. Like, we we know that. The fuck, you don't got no receipts, no nothing. I'll buy you out of your deal if you even still got a deal. I'll buy you out of your deal right now if you got some to, uh, some proof. Two, I got a question. Why the fuck is one of your titties bigger than the other? Like, I'm confused by that. Did you go... He been looking at her, haven't he? Oh, inside of the doctor. You got to really be looking at a bitch to know her titty. One titty's uh, bigger than the other one.
Like, like he got to be like. <laughs> and ask for a D and a C cup. Or did you just go ask for the same size titties and he fucked you up? Which one was it? If you don't shut the fuck up talking like that, like. Shut the fuck up. So he's talking about all the gay shit and this and that. And you got some men in the comments saying, why every time a man express themselves, they got to be gay. It ain't about expressing your motherfucking self. He's always talking about women business, girlfriend, women this. Who gives a fuck if the woman's successful? Let her have it. Talk Literally. Like, what does a woman being successful have to do with you? Like, Huh? The niggas that's out here doing the same fucking shit. Oh, all the fans flopping dick. What you? What are you famous for? They showing dick, 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 dick <laughs> on Twitter, shaking their little dinglings around. That ain't famous, but you, you ain't talking about. I swear, <laughs> some niggas on Twitter rich as hell for showing dick. It ain't. It's not just women, and he is absolutely oh right. Goddamn nerve! And then I just hate when people try to throw a rock and hide their hands because on top of that, you knew this was gonna be that type of reaction because your baby mama is in the category of Instagram famous people. Hello. So why would you even make that statement? And we already know that you'd be feeling some type of way. Because he was talking about her friend. Her getting her likes and her fame. It's like you and her had some type of disagreement behind the scenes. You came on trying to make a general question to the public. And then girl to girls caught you in your bullshit, Miss Dean. And that's what happened. So then he gonna change his profile to this. And then Asia come back and say, oh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> he gonna say, nah, I'm just bullet. Got a big dick. Prove it. <laughs> we want to see ya. In a world full of real we got so many things that got so many songs talking about how they giving hoes money. How ho they ain't, they fucked up about they bitch. How they love they bitch. How they, and we got Tusi. They get on the internet every day and talk about how girls not shit and they just gotta fuck a nigga to get some money and they can get a name. They can be somebody baby mom. Just be bitter as hell in the nerve to let that shit land on your page. Like the thought is already why. But we get random thoughts, right? But you literally type that shit out not only typed, you actually did a video and sent that motherfucker to, to us. I just, I never understand. Mama, and they can get a name. When we got out here that's really putting those on, really putting in position, really, you know what I'm saying? Really turning that bitch up. And we got like Tussie. Get your ass on, you punk ass nigga. Come on, mama, your ass up, bitch. I'm going to keep seeing it. Your ass is a boy, and you played with the right one. You should have just let me say what I was going to say and keep it pushing. Oh God, we got all these rappers talking about how they turning up, how they don't give a fuck about a big pass, how they don't give a fuck about this, this, and that. Help me, all type of shit. Then we got this this punk ass over here with these tight ass leather pants on, with these long boots. Yeah, y'all, I can't lie. Look, at little baby, he ain't saying nothing about Jada. Look at money bag, yo, he ain't over here mad and up. No, cause they're talking about funding the women that he's talking about. Little baby love to shop for a woman. Don't worry about your nails. Don't worry. If you want some titties, I, I pay for it. <laughs> if you want some titties, I pay for it. <laughs> I can't think of the song, but yeah. Yeah, if she wants titties, he'll pay for them. You know what I'm saying? You need a new ass, he'll fund it. You don't worry about paying for anything at the restaurant, he funding it. Don't worry about needing a car, he funding it. You don't need a loan, you need me. You know what I'm saying? All the niggas that got money talk about making sure whatever said woman is straight. Even Tusi claim his woman is straight. Uh, but why you keep talking about it though? Like this is just low key shading all the time. Upset and bothered that Ari doing her thing. I ain't seen none of these other men upset about their girlfriends and baby mamas about how they are being successful. Tusi always come in here and talk about what women is doing and why women did Dang. why women did. I've always said, when men be like, fuck ho, fuck bitches, we don't need them hoes, them hoes ain't shit down for my niggas. Girl, run. Let me tell you the difference though. Like around that time, I was just a pretty boy. I was that, that was what we used to jerk, reject, like all that. Like, we all got MySpace, Facebook pictures, feel me like that, whatever the case. And I was dating one of the prettiest in the city. You? 
You, it's 2024, you built like a Ford F-150, bitch. How do your clothes, do you got to get your clothes custom made, bitch? You wear a 48 in a waist and a 30 in the legs. Most of the women said that they have to get their clothes custom made with a BBL, but like, I don't know what niggas get out of this. I ain't even gonna lie. How do your clothes fit? Ugh, why is he talking like he is holding smoke? Yeah, I don't understand why he talking like he just hit a blunt, though. And won't let the smoke out. I, it's really annoying the hell out of me. He throat like, nigga, what? Like, she got him feeling some type of way that he has to just come off as this hard-ass straight nigga. From her on now, we gonna let Tusi make it, man. He fighting demons. The demons is his sexuality. So then Angel come back out and she say, oh, child, y'all. Nigga won't pop them. Nobody is supposed to snap. Ow! So you picked me out of all the bitches that it said so, because y'all know Shay, he did come out with a new album. I didn't know nothing about it. No, everybody said, where was the promotion? Where was the promotion? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew, so I, I, to be honest, really, he might not have been. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all support these Instagram. <laughs> I guarantee. First of all, so y'all know as soon as the album come out, everybody get to doing dumb shit. Soon as soon as they got an album coming out, dumb shit immediately. Dumb shit. So he just made a dumb ass statement that didn't get him anywhere. <laughs> I ain't got it in the studio. I don't pay for it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't pay for it. He's an investor. <laughs> He's fucking I, stupid. It ain't no, nobody on my CD. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> he gotta break it up. He said, I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> I gotta do something. So he attacked the women. So now all two of them go to his page and cuss him out. Oh, he got music. And, oh, God, Tuesday. <laughs> but at the end of the day, Tuesday, can we just let people shine? No matter if we get it, don't understand it, they don't have talent. Because nowadays, you don't even have to have talent. All you gotta do is just be likable. Period. And lastly, there are things called social likes. It don't mean celebrity. Those are the people who are just sociably likable. That's it. That's all. They just, oh my God, just, if it ain't about me, let's geek it. Okay? Next with the Shigani Ice T, we have DDG and Joe Budden. So Joe Budden had made a comment about DDG and Halle Bailey's breakup, and this is what he had to say. Who the is DDG <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything Every I think he was dead ass serious time I see his name it's attached to hers and it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion but let's and what's the real. typical have to call a spade a spade. you may not know DDG but people know him especially if we're from the YouTube world people really be trying to shit and downplay YouTubers and these streamers but honey they be bigger than these Rap they the ones with the money. Do you understand what I'm saying? They can be like, I'm about this whole park right now. While well, basketball player, like, I can't even do it, but you know, can, can you do it for us? You know what I'm saying? Like, especially all rapper. Rappers and actors that are out here. So just because you don't know him because you're in this world, a lot of people know him over here in this world. It doesn't make anybody less than. So DDG didn't like that, honey. And he came back and he said this. Niggas got 30 years max of life left. And speaking on people's relationship the same age as your son. That nigga told him he got 30 summers left. You ain't taking care, you ain't taking care of. I hope you forget to take your magnesium pills today, you old bitch. And first of all, let's just say this, okay? I get it, yes, oh, ha, 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 funny, funny, funny. But let's be real. 
y'all sitting here laughing at people who are older than y'all and y'all think saying old is a diss when really old is not a diss because guess what older people have been 20 they've Hello. been 30. a lot of y'all can't say that y'all can't even make it to 20 or 30. i'll be looking at some niggas in their 20s like i'm so happy i don't have to go back to that place for some people the 20s was amazing their 20s was amazing, or their 20s is amazing right now. Girl, the 20s, they had me. I didn't have my 20s. My 20s had me. You get what I'm saying? i never go back. If I had the choice to go back right now, but things had to be the same, even if things changed, I don't want to go back. All right. So it's a flex to actually be old. So when y'all say it's absolutely, old, I'm sorry to cut you off. It's absolutely a flex to be 30. Mm -hmm. At least 35. Cause it, you get the, when you hit them thirties first, it's the roughest thing in the world. Not like the twenties now. It's just a little more serious. The shit you done fucked up in your twenties, you got to fix it in your thirties. But baby, when you get the, when it click like, Oh, <laughs> you telling me I've been doing that all along. Girl, and then you start living life a little more righteous. You get what I'm saying? And then you start making them stupid ass mistakes and actually being able to enjoy your living room, okay? And the things that you have. And, and, and that's a prime example of enjoy the fruits of your labor in your 30s and 40s. Jokes, the shit really ain't funny and it's not really a flex to be, oh, hey, look, I'm young because baby, y'all calling off left to right. So then, <laughs> PDG didn't stop there and he said, Bump it up with gold okay. after 20 years. I don't be tripping when girls talk about me, but when men with- You 30 friend, it's all right. Listen to your gut. Okay, that's what I need to tell you. Also, in your 30s, your bills come first. Let's just normalize it. They got to get paid. Now, unless you can take your bill money, flip it, and able to pay your bills twice, Unless you able to do that, which most cannot. In your thirties, pay your bills first. Pay your bills first. Get your groceries, okay? Get your toiletries. Stop buying tissue every three days. That shit is get out. Stop not filling up your tank. Why we don't have a tank still? Why are we getting a half a tank knowing damn well you ride across town, that bitch right back at a four foot tank of gas. Okay? So, buy your monthly toiletries. Shop at the goddamn farmer's market and get your fruits, you know what I'm saying, and your vegetables, all right? And your meats, okay? Also, get some Costco and some Sam's Club about your business. I don't know why y'all got five people in the house and you got the nerve to go to Publix and buy five different hot dog uh, packs or two hot dog packs. For that $10, you could have got you 75 hot dogs for $6 at Sam's Club. And I would never understand why y'all doing the one for one thing, all right? At yesterday I bought noodles. Guess how much they was? $8. I got six boxes. Yes, I did. And get what? If I buy two boxes at motherfucking Publix, I done pay $6 for two boxes. Normalize buying in bulk. Normalize if I'm ready, I ain't got to get ready. Normalize pay your bills on time because you got to pay bills regardless. Hello? Fill up your tank so you ain't got to be stressing about running out of gas in traffic. Come on now. I know some of y'all 30 year olds feeling what I'm saying. And I know some of y'all 20 year olds right now just put $7 in your tank because you just tried to buy a little, a little, uh, a blunt. That's what you can do in your 20s. Do that in your 20s. But understand when you get in your 30s, buy an ounce. What are we talking about? Some of y'all need a QPZ. You get what I'm saying? Four for four. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Every other day, can I get a blunt? Can I get a blunt? Can I get a blunt? Every other, do you know you've already bought an ounce? Do you know that? Why are you relloing to death? Can I get a rello? Now I'm gonna go get to the store and get two rello. I used to, <laughs> I used to work at the gas station and da baby, okay? Cause I'm from Charlotte. Da baby, before he was rich, this nigga used to come to the gas station every day with four quarters. 
and buy a fucking Rillo. <laughs> What's going on with you? Ain't shit. What's going on with you, John? John, John. Chilling. He don't talk too much. Everything he's saying, his music he ain't lying. That nigga used to come there with four quarters every day. You know you could get the five. He don't give a damn about the five pack. But anyway, y'all get your shit together. Platform say that, oh, I'm on your ass. And it's gonna be all Eight serious for 50. here. DDG tried to downplay Joe's song, Pump It Up. That song is legendary. Joe Buddy is one of them ones. He's tied to Eminem, Slaughterhouse. Come on, DDG. I know you wanna battle with the man because he said something that, that rubbed you the wrong way. But we gotta be real. Like, he has to be real with you. You were known before Halle, and this man got some pool. And what you're not gonna do is talk about Pump It Up, because maybe that song was made for Lil Saint, and bitch, I'll be dead. If y'all know what this is giving me, it's giving me Ice-T versus, <laughs> versus Soldier Boy. Black Ice, Ice-T, Silver the Navigator, Fuck Soldier Boy, Eat a Dick. This nigga single-handedly killed hip-hop. Soldier Boy, let me talk about Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, I know you're young enough to be my kid, but you single handedly kill hip hop. Damn. Man. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't fuck him from it. All that, that shit is such garbage. You can't do that, man. We came all the way from Rock Cam, okay? We came all Soldier Boy looked like a total different human being. Fuck all that. Look at here. This nigga Ice T old as fuck, man. <laughs> I just, nah, this nigga old enough to be my great grandfather. Like, he's the forefather of my nuts, nigga. This nigga. This nigga was born, man. Hey, nah, we Wikipedia this nigga. This nigga was born in 1958. Yeah, Soldier Boy was a nice looking brother right here. I don't know what the fuck. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga come. Hey, this nigga tell me he from the West Coast. This nigga, you was born in New Jersey, dog. For real. Like, real talk, dog. It's Mr. Tracy Lauren Morrow. Yeah, I know your name, nigga. I know. I looked you up, nigga. This is new. This new day and age, nigga. You was born three centuries ago, my nigga. That's how you. It changed, out. Now the last time I like, who the fuck is Ice T? Dog? Look, the last time I heard of this nigga was in Superhead book. Dog. <laughs> 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 hey, now nah, this nigga. Nah, I seen this nigga on TV the other day. This nigga playing on Law and Order, solving <laughs> mysteries and shit. How you gonna make a song called "Fuck the Police"? 35 years later, your ass playing the police on TV. Damn. Law and order. Law and order. I don't know. Maybe DDG is just frustrated because of the breakup, which we will talk about later. So we're going to just let it ride and just say that's what's going on right now because little Buddy is crashing out. Because, I mean, come on, there's a storm. That Joe Buddy? DDG. Now I know you want to fuss with him. But let's just, let's be real. But I don't know, it is what it is. So, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating it, okay? Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have the baby. So the baby went on the Breakfast Club and he talked about cancel culture. But you keep talking about being canceled. You keep talking about being at the bottom, climbing back to the top. I ain't talking about it no more. Now, honey, this don't even need a whole lot, a whole lot of talking. What Definitely is talking about it. He keep bringing it up in all his songs. And with the baby is, you got the big head, you start thinking you were untouchable and you got humble. That's it, that's all. Cancel culture didn't cancel the baby. You canceled yourself. One, when you put Danny and that baby out. Two, when you started going on internet, disrespecting her the way you did. Three, you then went at it with the gay people. Why did you do that? I don't know. And then I don't need to apologize. I don't need to diss. I'm that and thought you couldn't get touched in. And then the next one, talking all that slick shit with Megan. What did you think was gonna happen? Now you have to do <clears throat> that nigga gonna tell us he did it to Megan Thee Stallion. I was like, we didn't need to know that. Like, why are you, why are you telling us that? We didn't need to know. I swear. Build back the trust and love of all these people, which is gonna be hard, because one thing that separates people from God these folks don't know how to forgive, baby. And if it ain't about me, good luck to the baby. Next case. All right, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Prada. 
Now, baby, mm. this took everybody by surprise. We were just like, what is going on? Now, I'm going to take y'all from the beginning to where we are now. Mr. Prada used to be on TikTok. And when he was on TikTok, he used to steal people's content. And that's what made him start going viral. Because everybody was just like, why are you taking my stuff? He took my stuff. And it would always end up on the For You page. And he would get more views than the original video. Then Damn. out of nowhere, all of a sudden, his appearance and everything started to decline. He started cutting off his hair, started looking different, and it seemed like he was crying out for help. And he was telling people, hey, I'm depressed. I'm going through this. I'm going through that. So in the midst of all that, people were talking about him. Nobody took it serious. When literally this man is right here in front of us spiraling, where it brings us to today, where people saw on the news that a man was wanted for murder. And everybody was like, what is going on? That's Prada. Girl, it took people into a frenzy and FBI mode. So they had ended up finding out that the therapist had allegedly sexually assaulted a young boy who was 11 years old, but they didn't have enough evidence to lock him away. So then people started doing math. They was like, oh my God, that's Mr. Prada's therapist. Could it be Mr. Prada? This man allegedly sexually assaulted an 11 year old. Mr. Prada's 20 something. Couple of years back, boom, 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 boom. He was 11. But come to find out that wasn't Mr. Prada's therapist. And Mr. Prada was not the guy that he allegedly touched. What's up, everybody? All right, you guys. So there is so much speculation going around. There are so many videos going around about the situation that took place with Mr. Prada. So I decided to do a video breaking down everything that went on from Saturday till today. Now, sometime on Saturday, William Nicholas Abraham left his home that he lives in with his roommate. He told his roommate, look, I'm going to clean my car out and then I'm going by the office and I'll be back. But William Abraham was also seen on that same day on surveillance looking for the apartment of Mr. Prada. So on surveillance, police are saying that you can see him going to the apartments where Mr. Prada stays, and they see him looking around as if he's looking for an apartment. So that could be a key piece of information that he had never been there before, but he is 69 years old, y'all. Maybe he has been there before, he just didn't remember where the apartment was. Now, y'all, investigators are saying that William Abraham never made it out of that apartment alive. Now, later on, they then see Terry Young, who we know as Mr. Prada, coming out of his apartment with a tarp, and he was dragging it. From what they're saying, he put that tarp inside of William Abraham's car before pulling off. So we know that very next day, which would have been Sunday, William Abraham was found along US 51 on the side of the road. He was wrapped in that blue tarp and he was wearing the same clothes he had on previously. Now they also say that he was wrapped with a great comforter as well. Now if you go back to Mr. Prada's videos, one of the last videos he posted, you can see he has like a silver gray looking bed and on his bed is a gray comforter. Now police, they begin to investigate this whole case after they find his body. They say that he died from blunt force trauma. And that's when this infamous picture is put Blunt force trauma, what's that? Out and the internet just goes crazy. As soon as this picture was posted, y'all, everyone knew that it was Mr. Prada. So after finding the body of the therapist, they ended up catching up to his car. So Mr. Prada was driving this man's car, y'all, and police tried to do a traffic stop. But Mr. Prada tried to run from the police, and that's when that infamous video was posted of him running. So police are saying that as he was trying to get away from them, he crashed the car and he took out on foot. We now know that Mr. Prada called a family member to come get him and to take him back to his, his apartment. Head. So y'all, there are rumors that Mr. Prada may have went shopping and used his man's money, but they have not come out and said that yet. So he gets dropped back off at his apartment by this family member who claimed they knew nothing of what Mr. Prada did. It wasn't until later on when they saw him on the news as a person of interest, they called the police themselves. Now, as all of this is going on, the family members call the police telling them what they know. Mr. Prada catches a bus to Dallas. So while everyone was on the internet looking for Mr. Prada, he was already on the bus trying to get away. So while Mr. Prada is basically on the run, that's when the information comes out about William Nicholas Abraham and his 2015 arrest. Now, it comes out that he was accused of doing something to an 11-year-old during a therapy session. Now, he was never found guilty because of lack of evidence, but people all over social media thought that this 11-year-old could have been Mr. Prada because of dates lined up. So at this point, now mm. everyone is thinking that this man might have did something to Mr. Prada and Mr. Prada might have snapped. So police end up catching Mr. Prada in Dallas on Monday evening and they arrest him. Now, at first, they just charge him with taking the man's car. They charge him with running from the police. But the next day, they end up charging him with second-degree murder. So police believe that a violent altercation took place in the home of Mr. Prada. <clears throat> and they're saying that he took the life of William Nicholas Abraham. So not only did they find blood in the apartment, they found other sharp objects. The great comforter was wrapped around William. The surveillance of William going in the home but never coming out the home alive. And Mr. Prada just basically running as soon as everything went down. Now, y'all, I'm quite sure that they did question Mr. Prada. They got all the information they could get out of him before they charged him with second-degree murder. Now, a lot of people are saying that they believe that more was going on. And, y'all, let me just say this. Yes, Mr. Prada was spiraling on social media for a long time. Now, do I think this man had something strange going on with himself? Yes, I do. He was 69. Mr. Prada was 20. But the attorneys in that case from 2015 are saying that the victim was not Mr. Prada. Not only that, they're saying that this man was not even Mr. Prada's therapist. 
Now, this is my belief. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. We're not accusing anyone of anything. But I believe that they met online. I believe that they met online. I believe that this man went over there to see Mr. Prada and something went down in that apartment. Police are saying that they are now reviewing digital evidence, meaning going through phones, going through computers. Left so now it's first degree? Tops. Y'all, they had to have some type of evidence in order to charge this man with second degree murder. Not only that, once they go through their phone and they get those text messages and those conversations, we will get more information. Well, that's all I got to say on that. Child, well, I can't wait to get more information. I didn't know how to even, like, get into this, so I just left it alone. <laughs> but, um, it's given that, uh, the math ain't mathing, baby. Now, that would have made sense with everything she just said, but if it if come to find out he was never his therapist in the first place, then maybe they was meeting, you know, to, to do what it is that they, they, they was going to do. But like, girl, I don't know. We're going to find out though. Tell you that. Child, if it ain't about me, let's get even. Okay. Next to the ducket, we have Lucas. Now I'm going to be careful how I say this because somebody lost their life, but how you lost your life, and why you lost your life was selfish. And when I say that, I say that with respect to his family, to his friends, to his ex-girlfriends, because they lost someone that they cared about. But what he did and why he did it was selfish and controlling. So everybody knows him and Amber have been dating for a long time. It was nine years. That is a long time. That girl was this 20. Part, she sad. is now 29 is, is it her life? years old. Lucas has been fighting with depression and nobody would know what he was going through but lot. him, Amber, and his close friend. But anybody... Um, she got alive. I want to react to the full thing, but I'm still going to do this. ...has been around someone with depression. React to this. That is hard. And for her to stick that out through her whole 20s, that's your 20s where you're supposed to be outside having fun, living life, finding yourself... But you are sitting here trying to build somebody up, trying to make them understand life is meant to be lived. You're going to make it. You're going to be good. Like, that can be draining. That's why they tell people to go to therapists because regular people like us, we're going through stuff ourselves. Right. Yeah, we might be strong and we might be looking like life is good, but that can drain you. It can suck out all your positive life and make you now become depressed. Yes. So shout out to her for sticking out with him. That's why sometimes, and I, I'm glad my chat kind of chilled on depressing things, but like, bro, I don't want to talk about that shit. I can't handle it, and I can't help you. No cap. So, no disrespect. I can't do it. I need to be sane for myself and the people in my house. <laughs> him for nine And for y'all, hell. How, how the hell I'm going to get on here doing reactions and shit? Y'all just want to talk to me about crazy. I can't do it. Because that is, that's not easy. But then to find out that this person that you've been pouring life in, that you've been trying to help, that you've been standing behind, is cheated on you. You know what I'm saying? This, how much do you want me to take? I, I'm sitting here loving you, and you cheat on me? And then you're already talking about you're depressed. So she said, enough is enough. I, I can't do anymore. You don't want to get help. I can't help you. You want to cheat, then I'm going to let you go. So she decided to finally leave to choose herself. And there's nothing wrong with choosing yourself. And for him to sit here and no, this is what I feel. He knew he was losing something good. He never thought he was going to get caught. So when you lose something good, something that you know is there for you, no matter what, and God knows how many times he's probably cheated or done something and she found out but stayed, and you know that you're about to lose that, that can fuck you up, especially when you know you got something good. So before we get to all that, the manager came up and he let everybody know that Lucas had ended his life. And his post was talking about how Lucas had ended his life over depression. If anybody was battling with that, they'll get help, whatever the case may be. So everybody was just like, oh my God, what is going on? Where was Amber? Why she didn't help him? What, 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 oh, I can't believe this. And you know what I'm saying? So she was quiet. She said nothing. Then after that, child of girls on the curb did some digging. Here comes Star. She's saying what she has to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, you left me. I can't believe this. You can pause it and read what she had to say. But what really rubbed me the wrong way is when she said, oh my God, I called you the day that bitch posted about the breakup. Why are you calling this girl the bitch when you know you the mistress? What's oh going on? Please, let, let's calm down, Star. Hey, what, what? 
what's going on with the mistress is speaking up and shit? And she said, I can't even speak on his and Amber's relationship. Our bond was our bond. Their bond was theirs. Woo, woo, woo. Then she goes and she claims that she called him the day of the situ the day of him unaliving himself, but he didn't answer. So this is what makes me believe Amber's story, because Amber says she was on the phone with the man when it happened. So that's why he didn't pick up for you, sweetie, because he was on the phone traumatizing this woman. And you lucky he didn't you didn't pick up or he didn't pick up the phone. Not. I'm about to be 30. Because now she gotta deal with this shit for the rest of her life. I'm about to be 30. 30. If you don't want the help by now, if you ain't. I'm telling you right now, do not call me with that shit. And I've been there too, okay? I, well, clearly we all have, I'm sure. Um, To leave me like that? I'm I can't gas, do it. Bitch, I'm moving fast. It ain't Appreciate no the motherfucking uh, really sub, friend. Ass, I I ain't got the help by now. You don't want the help. So don't fault me for choosing myself. Because would, would you rather be saying R.I.P. and Lucas and Amber? I ran out of my house bare foot on my... When I was on the phone and I heard it. I screamed. No, 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 he did it, he did it. I said, Mom, 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 call 911. <laughs> so the thing is, oh my God, this is crazy. Because the thing is, they have broken up and the man just couldn't take the breakup, right? That's it, that's all he couldn't take it. Some people do, they love hard, but sometimes it's not even love. It could be manipulation, it could be control. They can't let you go. They can't let that control go. this woman go. was with you for so long. Now, I don't know what happened in their relationship. I can't speak. I 444 in the chat. No, I wasn't there. They didn't post things. But after seeing some of these old posts and stuff that was put up about him saying, ain't no birthdays, none of that. Now, bitch, I'm going to terrorize you. Oh, my fucking soul. Watch this. I'm 20 minutes away. In 2024, a motherfucker will rather try to shit on you on the internet at your lowest than try to make things better. Now, now watch this. I'm on my way, baby girl. Now let me stop there. Now that just sounds like someone who is manipulating and controlling. This girl catches you cheating and because she decides to leave because you cheated now it's like, no, where you going? I, you know I'm depressed. You know I'm going through this. You know I'm going through that. Oh, you want to leave me? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Like, what? If you are in Vegas and willing to beat a bitch ass for me, get at me. It's Good. Oh, hell no. Girl, she was trying to get the fuck up out of that. What type of shit is that? That is crazy. Now, I'm I'm not calling him crazy. And yes, he might have been battling situations and maybe him cheating could have been him just, you know, looking for love in all these different places, not trying to hurt her, but because he's so depressed, he's just looking for this love and attention everywhere. I don't know. But the way that star girl is talking, they've been, she said since she's been 19, they've been good. And then Amber comes out and she posts me going through this phone made me a little bit stronger because that means she done seen some shit that's probably been going on for a long time. She's probably like, damn, I'm the reason for his death. I broke up with him. So I caused him to do this. So now she's blaming herself. It's all blame game now. Like I did this. I made him do that. But when she Girl, how the hell she get that phone? <laughs> oh, that phone. Uh, I'll be keeping some of y'all updated. I'll try to make um, like a video, like trying to get myself ready going through this. Um, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just the girl. Me going through that phone kind of toughened me up a little bit. He did it at her house. Oh, that's when he was on the way to her house and she wasn't there. Thank God she wasn't there. And why would his people give? He kind of made me like, bet that up. I know you love me. They I know live you love together. me. Uh. But bet it up. <clears throat> I'll see you one day. 
We'll talk about it. And we'll talk about it. Allegedly, from what I'm hearing, she said she was running for five days. Because if I, I really believe that he unalived the dog to too, kill her and him. But since he couldn't get to her and find, oh, he unalived the dog too. He was definitely about to get all them up out of there. Find her. He made this woman listen to him kill himself on the phone. That is crazy. I'm going to do it, and if it don't just be me, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be me and you and this bitch. He gave the dog away. Huh. Y'all don't be telling me false shit. Because <clears throat> then I feel like, like earlier, I just catch myself sitting back, like, just thinking about the shit, thinking about the, the sound. Mm. Phone dropping. Mm -mm. It's like, you really, you still in this life before accident didn't give me love that I deserve. And then you do it, what was it, a day before her birthday or on her birthday? I think it was like the day before her birthday or something like that. So now this girl, birthday, you didn't even, it's not about her anymore. Every year. To the day she leaves this. Guarantee he said that too. Before he left. I'm going to do this shit around her birthday. So her ass will never be able to enjoy her birthday. Earth. She has to think about that. That is her birthday. I hope this girl finds peace. I hope she finds healing. I hope she finds understanding. Even with his friends and his family. At the end of the day, he did not solve anything. He hurt so many people, not just her, his family, his friends, his cousins, just everybody. You've hurt so many people thinking that you were hurting her because she hurt you by leaving you because she decided to choose herself. And I'm not saying she was all perfect. You know what I'm saying? Relationship has two stories. Um, maybe he felt she could have done more. Maybe she felt she was doing all she could do. I don't know, but when you have a mental health issue, sometimes it's best to separate and get you the help you need and fix yourself before you hurt somebody else and bring them down with you. A light can only be bright for so long until you start to dim their light. And Emma yeah. probably felt her light was dimming and she had to find her purpose and herself again because she was losing herself trying to help you. Refusing to give a dog back is crazy. Let's keep keeping this. Hey! Next to the ducket, we got PG and Hallie. Now, <laughs> I want to say what I want to say, and y'all know what I want to say. I want to go crazy. I want to like when he got our first Black Mermaid pregnant, bitch. I knew it was over. I was telling y'all this was gonna happen. I told y'all he was gonna do this. I said he wasn't no good. I want to say all of that. Bro, DDG and Holly just broke up on my show. Where was I at? I ain't never seen them have no relationship. Girl. I'm, I'm getting drunk tonight. No, I can't. But the good in me, I feel this just don't seem real. And the reason I say that is because I... Y'all don't ever believe nothing. Allie. She, yes, she's very private and she don't put people in her business because she is that quiet type of girl. But I do feel she respects her supporters enough to let them know something. But she's also strategic with hers too. Like she knows when to say things. So I feel like if she hasn't said anything, then I don't feel it's real. I feel like something happened. DDG got in his feelings. He posted this long thing saying, you know, hey, woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. You don't yada. believe it either? And it pissed her off, so she unfollowed. He unfollowed. They took off their pictures. Appreciate your, uh, the, the sub, friend. friend. But I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I just don't believe it. I don't believe it, girl. And then they got this little podcast thing going. So I feel like, ooh, they broke up. Ooh, they broke up. It's going to boost the podcast. People going to keep looking to see if they're going to talk about the breakup. Woo, 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 yada, yada. I don't know. I just don't but then I do believe it because I feel like he gave y'all a little nugget 
with that whole situation with him and Jay Cinco when him and Jay Cinco had that conversation and then he said it's right here and if I can tell myself something at age 22 I would tell myself not to get in a relationship because it's damn near like having a part-time job, bro. Yeah. You really have to apply a lot of time and effort. Like, you might be doing videos all day, and your girl get an attitude when you're doing your last video. Like, when you gonna take me out to eat? Thank God mine don't, but that's why you gotta goddamn give her what she need. Give her what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you need something, honey. You need something from the goddamn. You need uh, anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When you gonna... Take me to the movies. When we gonna go on a date, and then it causes relationship problems in your real life that can affect your content. You might get mad in the argument. You might not yeah. want to film the next day. You might not want to stream the next day. You might not want to go to the studio the next day. I whatever. think all everybody in their twenties should just stay in their twenties and rock out. Get get shark. What, what, what's going on, Sharky? What is this? You just by yourself? I don't understand. Why well, hello? How are you? All right. Um, I think that <clears throat> you should have like a, a roster of like two or three that you know is loyal, you know what I'm saying, won't harm you or, or you, you know, pray that, that they won't harm you. And, um, you know, get checked and things like that. Have some good old, you know what I'm saying? But make sure that the feelings is intact. You, you, you do you. I'm gonna do me, and you know what I'm saying. Let's have some fun. Ever like, yeah. So I would tell myself if I was 22, I would say, bro, just grind it out and let a relationship happen. Yeah. But only happen when you feel comfortable in yourself as a man. Like, yeah. I feel like you shouldn't get a relationship, a relationship until you feel like a can't DM your girl and take your girl. Like, if you feel like it's that's more lit than you, more like stable than you that can take your girl, yeah. then you ain't working hard enough. They have been separated for a while. I'm t this is facts. I'm telling you this is fact. They've been separated for a while. You just didn't know. A lot of people on Shade Room didn't know. And they're usually pretty quiet. They keep their business to themselves. But she, you know, she's, you know, she's living her life. She's around. She's having fun. Hanging around celebrities. There's videos and pictures to proof. I won't even pull it up. Mm -hmm. Because they on DDG's ass. Hold on. She's around. She's having fun. Hanging around celebrities. There's videos and pictures to proof. I won't even pull it up. Child, let her do her. Because they on DDG's ass. That nigga can't do a motherfucking thing because the, the whole perception of the whole internet is that they're still together. <laughs> so you know why DDG had to post this shit? To let everybody know if eventually you see me take a picture with another woman, even if I have no interest in her, I'm not cheating on this. Literally. This woman that y'all love so much. I told y'all, that's why he did it. He got, y'all got to know. Don't say nothing to me. I'm outside legally around this motherfucker. And I said, God damn. And I told him yesterday. I said, man, it's, it, it, it's sad that you got to let these hordes of obsessed stands, that stands over a relationship, Know that the relationship's over before you could even take a deep breath and try to live your life. And um, I I don't know the situation between them. I don't care to know. Um, I heard they had a good relationship. I didn't hear no toxic shit. Um, I heard she treated him well. I heard he treated her well. But I heard it ran its course. So there had to have been issues here and there and all that stuff going on. So why get somebody pregnant just to leave? Like, huh? So let me say, we gonna keep this until it is for real solidified. I gotta hear Hallie say it. When she say it, then I'm gonna say what I need to say. I don't make no happen. I know she don't do all that lying and pranking and stuff. When Hallie say it, then I believe. If it ain't about me, let's get key. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, you guys, that's all I have for Messy Monday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an email because Instagram and Twitter have in there where y'all can't DM people and the shit is so weird. I'm telling you. So I'm going to make an email. Look at my Twitter so y'all know where... Yeah, I need to make an email too because I'm, I'm telling you, Nikki ain't even respond to me. I never got it. I never got it. Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.